Keeping venomous reptiles is an unforgiving hobby, requiring proper training and lots of experience. One simple mistake can be the difference between life and death. death, death. Remember, the most venomous snake in the world oh, is the whoa. one that just bit you. There are no venomous snakes with training wheels. Just because you see Viper Keeper handle snakes a certain way does not mean you should try it too. It's feed the, the mamba's time. Green Mambas just go gaga for uh, your chickies. Well, I know lots of snakes that go gaga for chickies. Hello? Would you like that? Yeah? Come on. Oh, there you go. Good job. Good job. These are uh, fairly laid back. All right, all right, I know you dropped it. I know you dropped it. It's okay. It's okay. Come here. Come here. Come on. Come on, this is yours. Come on, this is yours. Come on, take it. There you go. Good job. They're very skittish. I'm not quite over the trauma of, uh, of their capture. Yeah. Whoa! Okay, okay, guys, guys. There's plenty of chicks for everybody. Now, wait a second. Did you eject your chick too? Relax, relax. Come on. There's no reason for fighting. Come on. Come on. All right, relax, relax. Come here, come on. Come on. Well, it only takes one to spoil the mood. Uh, uh, not in my face, please. Thank you. Sorry, this is your check. Here, here, you're okay. Come on, come on, relax, relax, relax. There you go. All right, I'll watch more closely so no one tries to take your check. Here, you want that? Huh? You want that? No, you can't come out. I don't want you coming out. You can eat though. Have something to eat. How about you? He's hungry. He's hungry. Come on. You got it? Okay, you're good. You're good. Come on. Here. Here. Have a chick. Have a chick. Come on. What are you doing, huh? Come on. Come on. What? I've only got one feeder, huh? What the hell's going on here? Come on. Come on. Somebody was uh, hungry. Oh, there you go. Good job. All right. Two out of four. That's funny. I thought I had five. But I only see four pointy ends. Now, they've been known to go into the tube here. This guy here in the foreground is sort of a, he's the guy that I, I shed out in a video. I don't know if the video probably hasn't been seen yet. There you go. Got it? You look so silly. You look so silly with that in your feet coming out of your mouth like that. Huh? Okay, okay. Relax, relax. I'll help. I'll help. Relax. There we go. Come here, dude. Now you dropped it. 
Here. Come on. It's like feeding a bunch of two-year-olds. I've got other other mambas looking for some chicks too, as well as Mr. Brown. But these guys uh, take 100% of my focus because uh, uh, you never know when something's going to go crazy. Speaking of crazy, I'm missing one pointy end. So many, uh, so many green bodies lying around here. Come on. Come on. Now, none of these guys are really in threat posture, uh, so I'm pretty relaxed around them. I, time that things really sort of get out of hand is when they're fighting or when one is trying to shoot out in my face, which really sort of puts me off. Watch out for that pecker. I see you slinking around back there. We have one slinky in the house. We don't need two. I'm going to have to force feed you if you don't eat something soon. People often ask how much it costs to, uh, to feed this menagerie. Well, I just spent uh, almost $500 at Rodent Pro uh, for chicks and uh, mice. Slinking about. Here, eat this. You stay out of trouble. Thank you. That's a good mamba. What? Why are you giving me the evil eye? because I'm going to have to force feed you. Come on. I'm not trying to poke your eye out with this. Come on. Just eat it. Got it? Well, you know, if you come up where I could see you, I could help you. Oh, you got it. Good for you. And where's my buddy? There's my buddy. but he's just a lovely green. Look at you. You're nothing but skin and bones, huh? Yeah. Yeah, you're just all skin and bones. You're going to have to intervene on you, huh? Here, come on. You were eating that. Finish it up. Hello. Hello. I know. We've had... Uh, You've had some problems. I've had to shed you, but do you think we have problems now? Wait until I start stuffing your throat. Come on. Come on. You're just absolutely closed lit. You don't want uh, to even think about uh, accepting any food, huh? Look, I shed you out because you needed it. Now you need to eat, 
And if you don't, uh, we're going to have a problem again. Right. Hey, 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 no biting. What the hell's going on here? Come on. You guys don't need to scare me like that. Oh, let's give Viper Keeper a nerve check. Ready on three. One, two, three. Blah. Oh my god. Viper Keeper wet his pants on camera. Come on. You think you would have evolved to figure that out? Well, you're awful clumsy for a tree snake. Oh, he's just tongue flicking your ass. Just leave him alone. He's not really bothering you. Boy, what a bunch of, uh, what a bunch of cretins. Here, come on. He's not really bothering you. What are you doing? Huh? Come on, eat that. you don't like blonde chicks. There, that's better. You got it? I know, you want to escape. But that's not, uh, that's not allowed. Mr. Brown, settle down. I'll be right there. Here. Here. Okay. Hi, Mr. Brown. have planned uh, today is uh, have my two young uh, black mamba friends here, uh, the relatively friendly one and the not so friendly one. So first thing we'll do is uh, we're, I'm transplanting them to uh, another cage. I'll let them cohabitate. Um, here you go bud. This is the semi-friendly one. Here you go. You even have a branch to climb on. Place to hide. I'll get you guys a water dish. Uh, there you go. How's that? Huh? How's that? How's that? Is that pretty nice, huh? You have a place to bask and everything. Okay, you can explore around. You just uh, please stay in there while I fetch your uh, your sibling, who's not so friendly. Hello, what are you doing? What are you doing? This, this guy is a bit bigger, only because uh, he eats uh, really well. Hello. Oh, is that a friendly uh, tongue flick or what? Okay, the other one is still in there. Hello. I know. You're on a hook. You're on a hook, bud. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, that wasn't very polite. Well, at least we're not getting a neck flare today. Here. Why don't you uh, hang out right there with your sibling? Come on. You better balance yourself. You're going to go plopping off there. I'm not sticking my hand in there to catch you. There you go. Oh, we got a little flattening of the neck. All right, relax, relax. You know, I'm not taking a swing at you or anything. Oh, you're still not so friendly. Hello, how you doing? Yeah, it's just me. Just me, and that's just him. Come 
my, we're flattening our neck today too. Oh no, I hope it's not catchy. I hope it's not catchy, guys. Oh, look at that neck flattening out. You have a cage mate. For a little while, this you guys will outgrow this fairly rapidly, but this is just a, a temporary uh, fix. I want to get uh, the bigger guy under some heat. And... Uh, They're mutually uh, discovering one another. There we go. Now be nice. Don't bite your sibling. And people continue to ask me, are snakes uh, immune to their venom? Uh, the question is, uh, they're resistant uh, to venom of their own species, but not immune. Um, you know, it's been demonstrated, you know, in many uh, scientific papers that uh, a, a good example is is the uh, Malayan pit viper. Uh, the venom within the same species, and it's just one monotypical species, uh, Calosalasma, that... Uh, examining their venom throughout their range, their venom uh, is different from one area to another. Therefore, the antivenin, unless it's produced uh, uh, using venom from snakes from different areas, is not uh, totally effective against uh, uh, that same species. Well, this is interesting. I've never seen two uh, black mambas stare them each other down. I've had multiple black mambas in a cage. I mean, that generally doesn't seem to be an issue. Oh, come on. Behave. Behave. Um, going back to the story. Um, so if the Snakes are feeding on different things as they would throughout the range. Their venom is different because it needs to act on a different prey item. Subsequently, that difference in venom, if you take a, a Malayan pit viper from the northern part of its range, and then you take one from the southern part of its range, and they bite each other, uh, they may not be so resistant and end up killing one another. Uh, the second fact is that uh, some of the enzymes, uh, they don't seem to necessarily have uh, uh, a lot of resistance to, and subsequently, uh, the enzyme action will cause uh, some tissue destruction, and if that happens to be in a vital place, uh, like the... Uh, head or the, the lungs, the heart, the intestine, uh, that could uh, turn out very badly uh, uh, in the end. And thirdly, it's not so much of a problem with the lapids, but certainly with viperids, if one of those long fangs ends up in the head, in the brain, or in the heart or lungs or something, or a major vessel, uh, that could spell doom for the snake, especially when you have something that causes uh, uh, changes in coagulability of blood. So, uh, that's a brief description of a very complex problem. Uh, I hope uh, you sort of get the, get the drift. Oh, there's two uh, uh, coffin heads together. Okay, and you're puffing. Do you have a Probably, I'm hoping not, that uh, this little guy, since he's doing a lot of throat puffing, uh, didn't catch a respiratory infection because it was rather cool for him. 
Uh, so, it's okay, it's just you. Black Mamba Cam. There you go. There you go. All right, well, let's let these guys sort of uh, uh, hang out and uh, get accustomed to one another and uh, warm up, and uh, I'll feed them a little bit uh, later.